All right, students, uh, today I'm going to show you how to actually cut the part out. So in the last video, I showed you how to get the exterior shape laid out on your drafting board. Next, we're going to actually take and we're going to cut this part out of our uh, exterior shape that's laid out on here. So what do we need? We need a few things. We need to know some measurements. We also need to know uh, where our ruler is, how to use it and we need some other tools, okay? So with that being said, we're gonna start with this lower right hand side here and we're going to use some measurements. I'm gonna need to measure and mark three quarters of an inch up, half of an inch in. So I'm gonna take my ruler and we're gonna start with our three quarter measurement first. So measure and mark three quarters. And we're gonna turn this and we're going to mark out a half inch. Now, can this work for any shape or any project that you're doing? Yes, this whole series of videos can work for any project that you're working on. So you always want to start with the exterior shape and then you want to go proceed through with following your measurements to actually cut that out. Okay, so once I get some measurements on there, I'm actually going to start to draw in what I have here. And then I can start to do what's called cutting the part out, okay? So I know I have this chunk of material available down here, and I need to remove my lines up in this area, okay? So by looking at my project and the example, your example will not be on a paper, it'll be actually in your Chromebook. So when looking at your exa example, you can follow that and go through and remove all of the unnecessary lines on the drawing. See how I just got that part to take shape? Okay, so next thing I would do is I'm gonna work my way across the top. So I need to measure in an inch and a quarter uh, to find this point here. I also need to know where the three quarter mark is for the top of that. So I'm gonna take my ruler again and measure that out. So I'm gonna go three quarters, and I'm gonna go inch and a quarter, okay? And then from there on out, I can go another inch and a quarter. So two, two and a half to locate out all the points that I need. So all I'm doing right now is laying out where I'm going to measure. Okay. So from there I take and what I want to do is bring down this measurement here which should be lined up with my plus. Okay. I need to know a few more bits of information like this depth right here. Okay, that's going to get me to the bottom of this peak or this valley and allow me to connect all these lines together. So sometimes it's all about kind of following the measurements, following the plans, and looking over your measurements and plans because sometimes you might overlook a measurement like that and then your project might not turn out to the way you wanted it to be. Measure mark there. Okay. We're going to lay in that valley right now. We're going to take our 45 degree triangle and see if that's going to work. Well, obviously that's not going to get the right dimension. Uh, the angle will be incorrect. So we're going to check our 3060. Well, that's not going to work either. Okay. So how would you fix that or how would you finish that? What I would do is actually take my T square and triangle and this time we're going to separate our T square and triangle and this is the only occasion where you get to do that and you're just connecting two points so you're using a straight edge. We're still drawing with our, our triangle we're just using it in a different fashion because we've already laid out our two points. You're going to find in plate number three or in drawing assignment number three you will have to do that. Okay, For this one here this is one that's beyond plate number three as an example. Okay, so I've located this position as well. I can actually take that and let's see if by chance that's a 60 degree. No, it's not. So again, I'm going to have to take my tool and play connect the dots. I know we all play connect, connect the dots when we were children, so this should be no problem for you guys. Okay, now do you see the exterior shape? 
I've cut it out of my my box and I'm going to actually go through and clean it up. I'm going to take my eraser and eraser shield and clean up my part. guys there's my exterior shape um, that was now cut into the actual part some of you are saying well why didn't you put the circle in there that's coming in the next video so hang tight